So the Social Change Awards uh, were set up in 2007, 11 years ago. This is our 11th year of doing them. And they were, they were really conceived as a way of celebrating the incredible passion and energy and commitment of individuals in their communities who want to make a better world for their fellow citizens and for themselves. Um, it's our absolute favourite event of the year at, at, at um, DSC because we get to meet and talk to and listen to the amazing stories of the people who set up or work in charities or fund them or volunteer or do whatever they can to help other people. What I love about these awards and what I think makes them so special is that they're a way of acknowledging people who wouldn't normally get, get recognised. There are loads and loads and loads of charity awards, all of which are, are wonderful but on the whole the ones that the social change awards tend to honor are the ones who wouldn't normally get a look in at those sort of uh, those bigger sort of charity awards and ceremonies it's a way of because it's a public award so people vote for it it's a way of getting your beneficiaries your colleagues your supporters to vote for you and to tell the world how brilliant they think that you are as a charity it's, it's quite a difficult environment for the charities at the moment. Um, it's sort of a little bit hostile, a little bit difficult. This is also a way of showcasing the fact that charities aren't all for, they're fantastic and they create some massive, massive, massive good in society. And actually being nominated for, or being shortlisted, or even winning the award is fantastic publicity for small charities in particular, because they're able to use the award or the, the, you know, the fact they've been a finalist to attract local publicity, to get funding, to basically tell the story of their charitable work. And actually, the ceremony itself is great fun. So, you're going to want to know, well, how do I go about doing this? What are the categories? Well, there are six categories. I'm not going to tell you what all of them are. You need to go and find out, look at our website later. But actually, for, what, for example, one of them is the Rising Star category. And that's for a young person who's made some kind of really significant impact themselves in their community. Or they've done something that's inspired or empowered or engaged other people to do something for their community. Uh, another one is the Influence Award, for example. And that's about somebody who has gotten off their backsides and done something really powerful to make some kind of change at policy level or at local level or something that's actually profoundly affected the lives of people in their communities. Uh, nominees, three nominees are shortlisted from each category and then it goes to our panel of judges to decide who the winners are. Um, the really exciting news, of course, this year for the first time, um, Lord Dannett has kindly agreed to host the ceremony at the House of Lords. So not only do you get the opportunity possibly to like win and be nominated and have all those benefits I talked about earlier but you also get to go to the House of Lords and march about with you know I want to say the peers are all in their red cloaks and ermine but they're not they're normally in suits but anyway you get to go there and to be in that space which is really wonderful so if you want to know more of course you do if you want to nominate go to our website which is listed here on the video and take a look and then get nominating and I can't wait to meet you